Another way we can evaluate debtors is by doing what's called a debtors age analysis. So what we do there is we classify debtors into groups in terms of how long they've been outstanding. So for example, we might have $10,500 of debtors whose accounts are between zero to 30 days due. We could have debtors of $2,000 who uh, accounts have been outstanding from 31 to 60 days. $1,000 of debtors who haven't paid from the last 61 to 90 days and then $500 of debtors who uh, accounts are at least 91 days or higher overdue. So if that's a total of 14,000, so what we do with an age analysis is we express every number as a percentage of the total. So if 14,000 is 100%, we would like to express 10,500 as a percentage of 14,000, and we can see that that is 75% of all debtors are due within zero to 30 days. And then 14.3% of debtors, uh, 31 have been outstanding for 31 to 60 days, 7.1% for 61 to 90 days, and 3.6% of our debtors are at least three months or 91 days old. So how do we evaluate that? Well, a lot of that comes down to our credit terms. If we offer 30 day terms, you could say, well, three out of four debtors uh, on average still uh, in the time period of our credit terms, which isn't too bad. But we could also look at it and go, well, what about if our credit terms are 60 days? That's very good because now all of a sudden we've got basically 90% of all our debtors uh, within the credit terms offered. So that's the main way we want to evaluate a debtors age analysis is to look at our credit terms. If our credit terms were 14 days, well, we've got a big problem because a lot of our debtors are beyond that. Perhaps if our debtors are 90 days, our credit terms are 90 days, well, that means only these amounts are overdue. And given that uh, that's what, 96 something percent, 96.4 percent, that's a very good result.